six. Oh, really? Yeah, he got third place. He just, I forget who he upset, but he's, he got made top three for the first time. That's very strong. Now, Mewtwo is, you know, being as large as he is, he's, these combos are really going to work. You know, he's going to have to keep on being evasive and just making sure he can just keep him out of detailed range. But if he's going to flip like that, that kind of bypasses the whole ground-based zoning strategy already. We see Helper, you know, just keeping Leo off stage. Leo just not finding a way to get back onto the yeah, stage. The, the amount of coverage he's that Helper using, is doing here. He's just using fair. Like, like, come on, man. But he's using it smartly. He's, he, yeah. just, he knows exactly when Leo's going to go oh for the double jump. Goodness. He knows when he's not going to air dodge. The amount of stage control that Helper has here, and even though he gave it up with the rocket barrel, he had the right idea with the read, but he just mistimed it. You know what, man? It looks like the way Helper's playing around, it looks like he's just having fun. The way he's just flying around right now, the edge cancels the side Bs. And he's looking like he's having a ball. That is when Helper plays at his best, is when he's just having fun, ha having a heyday. Gets uh -oh. spiked in the ground. We see some uh, return combos coming from Leo. Spiking him in the ground, going for the up tilt. I swore he was going to go for up smash. That would have killed him. That would have been super deadly. I'm not sure I'm not sure if Leo was felt super comfortable at it, because if Helper would have teched it, he would have been wide open for whatever Helper wanted to do. Yeah, but because Helper or Leo did, sorry, Helper missed the tech, Leo could have gotten something like an up smash and got the kill. But it's, right it's, now, it's a risk risk reward. But right now, this, the match is kind of stabilized a little bit, even though Mewtwo is so far behind. I mean, it's the perfect percentage for him to get a, a one good setup into a kill here. Oh, he's looking for that, that disable right there. Yeah, Leo definitely wants to disable all of Helper's <laughs> options and just lead into an up smash of That's whatever it. move of his choosing. Gets up an appeal into up smash conversion, yeah. sending away Leo's first stock. Yeah, very unsafe uh, aerial by uh, by Leo. He should have opted to go for the ledge at that point or just land if an NBA jump. I see a lot of jab damage coming from Leo, or Helper here, trying to get something going with a side B, but Leo's getting back on. Oh, very nice catch. And he, he, this man just runs up. Throws out an up smash and catches over, but he's still living. It Unfortunately, is, no rage takes away that kill potential. If you would have had rage, that probably would have done something completely deadly. We saw a different result from that, but now we see Leo right. running in, getting the grab, going oh, for an up throw. Wow. Thought he was going to kill him, but didn't get the percents read just quite correctly with Diddy Kong's weight. Once again, Helper trying to there get that go. down smash read, but he keeps mistiming it, unfortunately. And yeah. He got punished for it yeah. hardcore. Up uh, throw, we have liftoff. Grab him. Okay, there we go. No, we're talking about grab him. Do the combo. <laughs> you really want immediately 49%. Mewtwo is so powerful with these conversions. Racer X over here definitely wanted him to get that grab, but Leo had another answer in mind. He just a wanted better to answer. A, a better answer <laughs> in mind. Just rack up way more damage. And now we're seeing the same thing that we saw at the beginning of this set is Helper is maintaining the stage control, not letting Leo land. As I say that, he's starting to land with this neutral air, trying to get that up air action against Helper. Helper trying to maintain that stage control yet again. Catches Ooh. him falling down with that up smash. Leo trying to get back onto the stage. Goes for the double jump, tries to go for the ledge. Great coverage with that side B. Very nice. Able to flip off Leo in order to try to get back onto the stage. And now you can notice like the, the, the energy from Leo right now is much stronger. Is more like his normal gameplay. He seems to... Re oh, that up tilt. Unfortunately, he... Great move by Helper, but Leo looked like he finally was in his element right there. He really seems to get that momentum going once he gets that initial uh, down tilt combo. He's able to like really chain the momentum from that, and Mewtwo's really good at that in general. But the question is, can he carry that momentum into these next two games? Because Helper had momentum that entire game. He's probably going to carry it on to the next two games, except now he's thinking about a character swap for some reason. So he might, Very interesting. Maybe he's just not feeling Diddy Kong anymore. I can see him hovering over Cloud. I can see him... These three characters are Cloud, Lucas, and Diddy Kong. Is he just often between every regardless of win or loss. I'm really confused about this. Honestly, I, I mean, I've, I've been meaning to talk to Helper about it because I'm actually not too sure myself. I assume it has something to do with how he's feeling because at the beginning of that game, he had so much momentum. He was going in strong. And near the end, Leo started to adapt and started to get momentum. So he's like, nah, 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 we're done with that. I started to lose momentum. I want it back. So I'm going to... You no, know, throw him through a loop with a hold up. Think of it. my own and helper. Unfortunately, missing that tech yeah. is going to cost him that first stock within the first 15 seconds on yep. Dreamland. Already looks like a bad idea. Now we're starting to see some shadow ball play. Something I've always lamented about Leo's playstyle: not enough shadow ball. You know, well, maybe he might use it a little bit more. Now he's playing against a character that doesn't really have a projectile besides hold, Blade Beam. Triple fair. He tried to go for a quadruple forward error as Helper's trying to interrupt that with a climb hazard answer of his own. His limit's almost here. Just trying to. If he gets that limit just on deck, did get not get to let the cancel on the platform there. Now the limit is He's here. He's in trouble. 
The thing is, Leo knew that was coming. The second helper jumped up there, he knew what he was looking for. Oh. Hits him with the first hit of down smash, even though he got disabled for the second swing. And because of that, he was able to save himself from whatever big punish Leo had in store that for helper. That looks super fun. Like <laughs> This game is sometimes very random with those kind of interactions, but I love it. Now we see Helper trying to get this uh, cross slash action against Leo. Try, gets a, goes a little bit too greedy with that down smash. Yeah. Mewtwo able to get pick up a big counter nice from that. Hits him with the back air, but he's still living. We see Leo going a lot for these disables. Yeah, it's one of his favorite moves actually to use. Okay, he's got he's got the ledge cancel. That was so slick. He went for the limit break uh, blade beam and then immediately covered it with a forward tilt in order to catch Helper out of his grab. Ooh, grab. We gonna do? Oh, he tried to bait something. He tried to bait something with air dodge, but Helper coming down with the fair. I was not expecting that forward air to kill him just quite yet. Helper putting a stock on the board with this cloud as Leo's trying to run away with this. He's he's a little bit too liberal with his uh, limits right now, especially considering he's at 104. That back throw. That oh, is up not gonna kill. That 122 percent. Leo, I think he's just getting a little bit too antsy with these up throws because he possibly yeah, go for a right. different throw and send or to rack up damage. Doing That's not again. gonna kill again. Oh, ba just I, barely. Just stick barely. my foot in my mouth there as it actually does end up killing. He had enough percent on that left platform on Dreamland. Dreamland having a little bit lower of a ceiling than Battle. So maybe that was what helped with the end up of what killed him. No, we, I'm probably going to see another counter pick from Helper here. Yeah, I think he might go back to Diddy Kong. Or on Lucas. Luigi. Oh, we're seeing a counter pick Ooh. from Leo. He's going back to his roots with Luigi. Luigi. See, but now, but Helper was going to gonna switch. Let's see but if he now, goes. But okay. now he's locked in. Go. Okay. I have not seen Helper go Lucario in quite some time. He used to have a Lucario a long time ago. Honestly, back then, I wasn't really too impressed with this Lucario. It just seems like he got a lot of wins because of Cheese and people just not knowing the matchup and aura. And uh, the game has started, but it's okay. We're just, we have this little small screen here, Devin catching it. <laughs> yeah, one of the keys to def def defeating Lucario is having a character that has access to really easy to use but powerful finishing moves at the right percent. Otherwise, he's going to last and his aura is going to take over. And Luigi does have, one if he can get in, Luigi has uh, several ways of killing very quickly. And one thing that Luigi just can't really deal with is a lot of shield pressure because uh, due to the nature of his slidiness, he's able to just get slid across right and left unless he goes for power shields. So Luigi is going to thrive on power shields. That's probably what Leo's going to employ a wow. lot here in this game. He did an F smash and could not punish it once he shielded. Oh, that was close. Once again, Leo trying to go for the follow-up with that helper not being too on point, unusual for his techs. He hasn't been getting a lot of techs lately today. Yeah, right now it's... Right now, uh, Helper's looking at that percent where he could get um, take a Shinsho Ryukin, if you know what I mean. Yeah, we see him going with that neutral V, trying to apply a little bit of shield pressure of himself. Now, as you said, he's building up that aura. Help is going to do wonders for Helper, especially against Leo's shield. Yep. Forcing Leo to, to respect that um, that aura sphere. He's trying to get in. Oh, oh that weight was good. And this up seems smash. to be the nature of Helper's entire day today, is he keeps getting the right... Oh, the tech was we real! Tech and another! Leo. But we tech those, come on! Leo getting the greatest tech, hits him with the back air, then Helper once again missing his tech and ends up taking the stock because Super of it. Super pro. The power of the right oh. shoulder button coming in clutch for Leo as he now has a lead and got rid of Helper's oh. aura, which is uh, great for him. Helper's got to be careful the way he's going off stage. The previous time he was off stage, if Leo wanted, he could have just dropped down and did this tornado, his cyclone, and ended the stock. He needs to be very careful right now and, re and regain his composure. And what's not helping Helper at all in the least bit is he keeps getting the right read against all these players, but he keeps mistiming it. He keeps letting go of the smash attacks too yeah. early or too late. He just can't seem to find this timing that he so desperately needs against the, these players. And Leo just opting to run up and shield, but daring Helper to choose some, some other way of killing him. We see Leo just going for the roll on stage, the safe, because that's a famous trap from Lucario players. If, you get, if he starts building up that aura against the ledge, you don't have too many options in order to get, you know, get back onto the stage. Unfortunately, the weakness of that is it requires ample rage, and he did not have enough to where the hitbox is big enough. Sure, you can failure, and that F, that, that down smash is a great punishment. And Helper finally getting the punish he's been looking for. Like, I, I mean, he was searching out a little bit too long. I thought I thought he was gonna like whip it again. <laughs> Since that's been like Helper's MO this entire day. Good grief, man. But now we're seeing him start to play catch up with a bunch of these up airs. He reads the. He's a little bit too greedy with that F smash. Leo's gonna get that punish with that down B. Luigi Ooh. Cyclone off the top. Leo is starting to read these evasive maneuvers by Helper. He's running past the point where um, Helper is reading a, a roll of some sort. We're seeing a lot of down throws into up Bs as he punishes these said rolls. Oh. 
trying to get Goji runs Whoa, in, gets an rage. up smash helper, whatever doesn't kill him, makes him stronger as he tries to get back onto the stage. Oh, what is that? That what was Ryo doing? I'm not sure what that was, but maybe it was a missed input, but he's getting back onto the stage. Maybe he was hoping for a misfire. Who knows? But now, the crowd is starting to get a little bit antsy here. Is okay. that up smash? Oh my god, god. are you kidding me? M smash and Leo looks so defeated oh. upstairs. And Helper steals that away from him at the end. He had it. But Leo definitely was showing that he was looking for that up smash right there. And he just could not get it. But he was shielding the F smash. He was shielding it. He knew it was coming. He said, if I shield this, I should be okay. And that not was the so. amazing play from Leo. That I thought because of that, Leo was going to...